Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Morning Game and Watch Drop. This is episode five. It's hi, Rob. This is Dom. Hey. And uh, thanks for joining us here, guys. This is the place where you guys can come watch us talk about uh, film, TV shows, and gaming. Obviously, the first two segments are always about the the filming and, and, and TV shows and pop culture. And the last two is where we dip into some gaming. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, push that subscribe button if you haven't. Yeah, and push that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Do of course, it. We'll, I will repeat all this later on in the segment. Not today. Not tomorrow. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do, do it. it. Nike. Now, how you been, man? Good, man. How about you? Pretty good. How, what you been watching? Oh, everything. Everything. I, you know, I'm, last night I spent some time. I watched probably like rewatched the first four episodes of Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. Um, also. Still got to finish the 11, 22, 63, and gosh, I'm getting into a whole bunch of different different TV shows right yeah, now. Um, I'll, you know, with this whole, okay, so I liked Iron Fist so much that I think I'm going to go and, like, watch the other ones, give them a try. Uh, <laughs> only because I want to see The Defenders when it comes out, and yeah. I want some context for it. So, I think after Luke Cage... Um, Jessica Jones would be the second one, and then I'm yes. I've been, I'm just holding off on Daredevil. I just don't no, want to go dude. back to it. Watch it. So Daredevil will be the last one. Um, they say save the best for last. So yeah, who knows? It might it might blow me out of the water. I might be really impressed with it. But um, other than that, man, just just catching up on a lot of stuff. I've been like religiously watching Fear the Walking Dead with my girlfriend. Nice. Uh, that's a pretty good show. I you know. What drove me away from it at first, because I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, was like the first two episodes of uh, that that show were just kind of like really cut and dry. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm into season two, and like kind of close to the end of season two, I'm enjoying it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty deep. I like the fact that they're like in Mexico now, so that, that's pretty cool. cool. Season three should be really good. Um, oh, another big one. I have to recommend to you. Uh, do you have Amazon Prime? Yes, I do. Check out Sneaky Pete, the show Sneaky Pete. I swear to you, you will not be disappointed. What is it? It is amazing, man. It is such an amazing show. It's about this like con artist who, like, takes this con like way too over his head, like, and uh, Brian Cranston is like the director of it, and he's is he in really? the, he's in the show. Is he with the Giovanna Ribisi? Yeah. Okay. And like. I don't want to ruin it for you at all. Like it's just, it's just that good of a show. Nice. Okay. I've been, I watched the entire season with my grandpa over like the span of like three weeks. Right. And yeah, no, it blew me away. It's nice. better than I thought. It's got an eight point five out of ten stars on IMDb. So I don't know what the meta score is or anything like that. But yeah. Screw it. It was good. Cool. I have to check it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with everybody here, and uh, I didn't watch anything. <laughs> I have been. <laughs> Been no playing, homework for Robert. I've been playing way too much games and reading too much comics. I feel it. Um, so it's been hard for me to dip into it. Now balancing out all these things. As I'm as I edit videos, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm I'm gonna hopefully this next week, as I edit videos, I'm gonna be watching some Breaking Bad and mm-hmm. finally get into it and finally watch it for what it needs to be. Watched Everybody for. loves that show. I just couldn't get into it. I never could. I don't want to get into it. Like I don't want to like get into the hype of a, that kind of show. Like. I don't know. There's just something about it. I, yeah. I think I think it got too real for me because like I knew too many people from like my small town that like did <laughs> meth, you know. So like I was just like I don't want to watch yeah, this. Yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. just too weird for me. Yeah. And so yeah, I, b- I want to dip into uh, and finally watch Breaking Bad. And then one more show, which we won't linger on too much, so we can get into the topic, is uh, a show that you brought up. And I know why it's been on my mind way too much, but I want to watch The Leftovers for some reason. Oh God, yes. So it, I think it started. No. What day is it? I think it starts, what, the 15th? Or Today's the 13th. Yeah, it starts the 15th, right? Okay. Where, or does can it s- I find it on Netflix or Hulu or anything? HBO Go. No. Uh, I know. Oh, I know. No. There's it's other, best other streaming sites. I could tell you, Robert, but I know you don't like to do that. You like I to don't. support the artists. You like to support, I support these people. the artists. So, <laughs> but if you, want, if you really want to watch it, I'll find a way for you to watch it legally. I'll find it for you, Robert. <laughs> I, I can probably find it on a PlayStation Store and just by the season would they I, can do that. I mean well yeah I mean you could also go to Amazon Prime and just get the HBO pass on there right if you wanted to 
Is that how it works? I think so. They, I mean, you can get HBO Go, but I, I don't, I don't know. I know that Amazon Prime has like, so does Hulu. They have like, okay, so Hulu has like what, Showtime or something on there? You can get the Showtime add-on, and then like Prime yeah, has, no, yeah, Prime has another add-on. How for do you like, add that? Uh, it's like. I think it's like another eight dollars a month or something like that check it out if you go to hulu you can see it. it's like add showtime for another blah 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 i didn't and even so know you can this. watch like homeland and all those other shows that are on wow. showtime i yeah. didn't even know that yep. okay guys in the comments below let me know if there's a way i can see leftovers <laughs> the more you know please just let me know um but yeah uh so let's get into the first topic uh i'll start it off um recently and this might be a little late but who cares we finally saw a trailer for Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. And you've seen it, yes? Yes. Okay. I saw May it I say, same time you saw it, when it much. came When it came out, I saw it five times that day, dude. And I can't say tell you enough, this movie has been... I, I'm so hyped for this movie. More so than any movie that I'm hyped for this year so far. Really? I'm a little more hyped for it than Guardians to an extent. Uh-huh. Because I already know what I'm going to get from Guardians. <laughs> I'm a little more uh, high for it than Spider-Man because I'm a little iffy on how is it going to go. Mm-hmm. And Thor, I'm, re- I'm really excited for Thor because the first two, they're okay. They're all right. But this one looks like it's finally going to be something really good. And that's what makes me excited. Yeah. So I can't wait for this. It, it, it just, you see. There's a lot of beautiful, hype for it. Yeah, you see There's that beautiful glistening Chris Hemsworth in, in there. <laughs> just hair cut man, short. Man crush Monday. And you see Kate Blanchett. Yes. Looking absolutely gorgeous. And like her goth kind of looking uh, makeup and everything. The art direction is phenomenal, dude. Mm-hmm. I love the art direction. You see, <laughs> you see, uh, what's his name? Jeff Goldblum? Yes. Not, they, he probably just went on there. He's like, uh, 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 can, you, can you just put a little paint right there? It's like, what'd you bring me this time? And so, yeah, I mean, Jeff Goldblum's in it, which I freaking love Jeff Goldblum. I don't know why, but I just like him. He's, he's a good actor. Yeah. I, I like him a lot. So he, uh, and then. You should check out his other movies, though. I, I've only seen Jurassic Park. Dude, oh my god. And then he comes out Stop, in, in Portlandia Stop, a little bit. Stop, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, he's, he's got such better roles than that. Well, than then send Park. me some later. Send oh, me Jesus. some later. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then it, it ends, obviously, to the point where um, <laughs> he's going to fight the Hulk. And then uh, that part, I like, love that yes! part. Yes! I he's know always, this guy from Yeah, because he's always wanted to fight him, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. And then it's, it's just, it's, it's really, really good. I enjoy it. Um... What did you think of the trailer? I think I thought it was amazing. Like it got me pretty hyped too. Um, I think this is my own opinion. I think you're personally wrong about the Guardians. I think like yes, I think in a sense they want you to feel like you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. But I think with Guardians and James Gunn, uh, I think we're gonna be like really surprised. I think it's not gonna go the way the first one went. Yeah, I think really? it's gonna be a little bit different than that. Yeah, they're gonna keep it refreshed the same way that they did with this I one. How so, was a refreshing take on like yeah. you know superheroes and stuff? I think that they're gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay. Because uh, Chris Pratt was mentioning something about it. He's like, yeah, it's, it was totally different than what I thought the direction of the movie was gonna go. So he said that. Yeah. All right, I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, but Thor, uh, I'm pretty hyped. I'm I'm hyped. I'm always hyped about Marvel movies. Okay, I don't give a shit what Marvel movie it is. Yeah. They could put the worst character out there. They could just make some crazy offbeat character. Like, what's the worst work. character you can think of? <sighs> the Doug guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Howard could, the Duck. Howard the Duck. They could remake Howard the Duck, and I'd still probably be a little hyped about he it. He did come out, and so. Dude, right? Like, okay. And, yeah. So, <laughs> just saying, like, anything Marvel does these days, because their production values are just, like, amazing. Yeah, and dude. They, they have they, infinite amount of they're money. They're not going to gonna put out a crap quality movie because they have such a loyal fan base and they have the money to spend on the like you know like making it a good movie there's no no acceptable reason why it should ever be a crappy movie right. so I mean some of them are not as great as others like you said the first two Thors were they were good but they were like eh you know what I mean mm. so at the same time too I think they were still kind of working out like their formula yeah. I think they've got it down pretty well now so this this new one should be great. The art direction is really uh, different the way that they were doing like. The I love it. I love the cosmic <clears throat> alien like just like the way that they wear certain clothing, the, yeah. the face paint, and like it's just like elegant and sexy at the same time. Yeah. It's just like different. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I and, like and that. I, I think what was funny is that I felt like when Thor Ragnarok was starting, I kind of had like you know the real kind of mystic magical kind of thing to yeah. it. Um, but what what it seems as if is like the director of Thor was like, I like the way the Guardians trailer was. Just give me all the assets and let me just make that into mm-hmm. uh, into the Thor trailer. And Kevin Feige was like, All right, we got the money yeah, to do it. Yeah, take a chance. Well, I mean, like Thor and the Guardians, like they they bo- they're both in that kind of same spacey atmosphere yeah. anyway so it makes sense that they like that would be great if like at the end of that one like Thor like collides with the Guardians like the Guardians come and rescue him or yeah. something like that yeah dude yeah but well here's the thing is that um, there's two things I want to touch on one th- they supposedly say this is a teaser trailer it's not the official trailer yeah so let it be um, I think once the official trailer comes out I'm pretty sure it's going to end with uh, uh, with a scene with Doctor Strange because he's said to be in this. He's yeah. teaming up with Thor to go find something. I mean, they're getting so close now to the Infinity War, so or, or Infinity Gauntlet, whatever. It's Infinity, Infinity War. War. Yeah, I wish they just call it Infinity Gauntlet. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but they're getting so close to this movie now that they're just only a couple years off from mm-hmm. that, right? So. I think it would be great to see Doctor Strange. I think it would be great to see the Collector, like his big old yeah, building. Dude. And I think Benicio it would be great to see the Guardians as well there. Yeah. I think it'll end with them climbing like the all Guardians. All three of them be like, hey, like, we got to stop this. Like, it ties into something that Thanos is doing. And then they, they, they're they like, they go like on their way back to Earth. Well, Guardians comes out first. Yeah. What will be great is if the, the end credit scene for Guardians, or the ending of Guardians, mm-hmm. is like it goes, they're like, and they run it, like, Chris Pratt runs into somebody, they don't show it. And then Thor comes out, yeah. and it's going to show him run into somebody, and it shows that he ran into the Guardians, you know? Yeah. Like, that, like, it's continuing that scene. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I think that'd be, that'd, be, that'd be amazing. Like, if they ended up on Thor's homeworld? Yeah. 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 And secondly, my thing is that, um, can, C- can Kate Blanchett, can she be death? Could she be Thanos' death? And I, dude, I love Kate Blanchett. I think she's amazing. Her character... That's a good one. And her character with uh, Josh Brolin's Thanos, mm-hmm. dream come true, dude. That'd be amazing, man. That I want that. That'd be cool. I can see that. I can see that. Now that you got me thinking about that, I'm just like mind blown. Just... Yeah. I would like for that to be what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think... No. Yeah, I think you're honest on that. I'm like sitting there just thinking about it. Yeah. There's a there's a <laughs> moment in the, in the, in the, in the trailer where... Uh, he ends up on this planet, and you see all those other alien creatures. Yeah, I thought they did so well. To like, I th- when I saw that, I was like, I feel a little bit Star Wars here, right here. You know, mm-hmm. like they're making this galaxy feel alive with different kinds well, they, of I beings. Mean, they and own everything. Star Wars. Yeah. What if they do like a crossover? No, nah. that's not gonna. Happen. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this trailer, man. I really, really like it. I'm, How bad do you think people would freak out if they did that now? I think we'll be we'll be like funny. if they just kind of hinted at like like in the collector's place you just see like a, X-wing, a lightsaber a lightsaber an X wing or something like that. Well, like, no, will be amazing. A is rebel it, sign. If if he's right there and he's digging through some stuff and he's like and he's throwing stuff, he's like and he sees a lightsaber, just throws it, you know. Yeah. Or that'd be Yoda, awesome. Yoda staff just tosses it. <laughs> that'd be I don't know. They can do it. Anything they can do it. Anything can happen. But I hope they don't do that. Well, I mean, in Star Wars, they always they always say a long Star time Wars costs. Far, far away galaxy a long time ago. That is true. So, that is very true. What if, like, the reality that the Guardians are living in now is just, like, the future compared to Star Wars? And everything in Star Wars is just, like, relics to them. Interesting. Think about that. And they're owned by the same company. They could they could do it if they wanted to. They could just say, everybody, and just, yeah. <laughs> That'd be the greatest crossover ever, though. That'd be the weirdest just crossover. Just Luke comes ever. out. Just, <laughs> right? Takes out Thanos, just cuts off his glove. He can. And just wearing himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Power. Um, but yeah, that's our impression on Thor Ragnarok.